Okay, this is one of those things that um, in building a model airplane that always kind of baffled me and there's a lot of different ways to do it and I don't know, a lot of the ways I never really agreed with so I kind of came up with my own thing in terms of beveling the edge on aileron strips and even on your tail surfaces and things like that to get a nice tight hinge line. Um, so you can see here that on my Super Sportster that uh, I've got that hinge line I think about this gap free as you can get it really um, and the technique that I use for that is I don't know maybe some guys do it differently or they don't what we got here is a straight edge on a table and I take the old or a aileron stock that kind of matches and my new one that's nice and square and I'll mark a center line down and I'll mark where all my hinge locations are and I'll drill those holes first because it's just a lot easier um, while it's still flat edge uh, for my robot hinges and then I kind of try to get you know a triangle shape off there you really can't tell in the light um, but I'll set it on top of another strip like this so it's basically you know in a neutral position and then what I do is I take a block of wood and it doesn't matter hard wood piece of two by four whatever you got laying around and I drill or I, I saw an angle on this which is basically uh, 30 degrees from the vertical okay uh, and that gives me plenty of throw for a sport plane things like that 3d might be a little bit different um, but the way you can increase the angle is then basically take this off of the stock and that lifts this edge and that's going to basically deepen the angle that you have and give you more throw um, so you don't need to have a bunch of different blocks as long as you have a piece of stock here that you can set it up against or adjust it consistently um, to do that so then basically i hold it down and i sand a section at a time um, and Get it, get it dialed in into a, a nice nice point where I end up with something like like this um, and, the, and the better that point is and more in center it is with the hinge hinges itself uh, the tighter the gap is that you can have it on, on the plane itself um, as far as getting the sandpaper onto the block of wood uh, duct tape brand makes this awesome super thin double-sided sticky and I just put a little bit of that on there and if you look at the profile you can see I notched off the bottom of that that just keeps sawdust from moving the block around so I can keep it close to the table when I'm sanding on the on the surface to give me that shape um, also I have done this too in the past you gotta be a little careful because too much is too much I'm um, using a razor plane to you know get you say within 80% of the shape that you're looking for and then go ahead and sand the rest but uh, and I do everything up against a straight edge just you know simple clamp spring clamp to the table just so things aren't moving around on me and uh, again I get I get a nice nice tight hinge line that uh, I, I have no complaints about because gaps are bad so if we can avoid that um, we'll have a better flying airplane one that won't have especially on these older guys that flutter was kind of a problem and things like that um, and things will just function a little bit better so I apologize for just the raw nature of the video I don't edit things I just kind of am putting these things together I'm sure I'll evolve and my videos will evolve as things progress and I continue to build things and that but uh, that is my technique for uh, beveling the, the edges leading edges of your control surfaces so thanks a lot uh, if you guys have any suggestions tip comments anything like that at all Please, uh, please post up and let me know where I can do better. Or, uh, if you want more detail on anything that I have done, um, that would be great. Thanks.